Hello students, today we are going to study about the phytohormones. As we all know, these are the hormones concerned with the plants. So, they are also called as plant hormones. So, now we will discuss what are plant hormones. Plant hormones are mainly chemicals regulate plant growth or they are also termed as plant growth substance that means these are the substance which help the plant to in their growth and development now we will further deal with this in more detail. Plant hormones are signal molecule produce within a and they occur in very small concentration. This is more important that is they occur in small concentration as plant lack glands which produce hormones so each cell is capable of producing hormone that is in plants they are not a particular organ or a gland to secrete the hormones while in case of plant each cell is capable of producing a growth hormone which help the plant in the growth and development. So hormones are vital to plant growth. So they are called as growth factors or growth hormones that means they are the hormones which help the plant in their growth and they are also called as factors which help the plants in their growth and development now as we are reading about this photohormones, then we should also discuss the term phytohormone was first coined by Thai man in 1948. So, Thai man coined the phytohormone first time in 1948 as this word phytohormones in Greek word is called as set in motion. They also these phytohormones if we discuss in detail they also affect the gene expression transcriptional level that is production of mRNA cellular division that is how the cell divide and mainly the most importantly is in their growth pattern these all are the function of the photohormones the photohormones are naturally produced within the plant itself. As I have already discussed that they left the glands, they do not have the glands so each cell is capable of producing the hormone. One more important thing is that plant, this is the important point, that plant hormone is or are not nutrients. 
but these are the, these are the chemicals which help in the growth or these are the chemicals which promote and influence influence growth and development and differentiation of cells and tissues now we will discuss about the various classes of the phytohormones that there are mainly five major types of phytohormones we will discuss each of them one by one in brief first class we will deal is auxin this auxin word is taken from the greek word which means to grow or increase this hormone is mainly used for increase in growth of the plant auxin have cardinal that is growth role in coordination of growth and is it is also essential for plant growth and development auxin role in plant growth were first described by a dutch scientist known as fritz went he first described the role of auxin in plant that they are responsible for growth and development he first describe the role of iaa that is indol 3 acetic acid this is the photo hormone example of auxin which is naturally produced in the plant now we can see discuss the diagram of this auxin this auxin is heterocyclic compound this is the structure of iaa that is indole 3 acetic acid this is the first major hormone to be discovered as we have already discussed this is discovered by the scientist fresh bent now we will discuss the function of which is the most important part of auxin the first function of auxin is to stimulate cell elongation that is with the influence of auxin a cell increases in their size lengthwise now the next is they stimulate cell division in combination in combination with the next is it promote differentiation it promotes the differentiation of xylem and phloem next function of auxin is they also promote root initiation and development it also delay leaf senescence what is senescence senescence is aging process 
so with the help of effect of auxin the aging process can be delayed the next is it also inhibit or can promote leaf and fruit abscission next function is it also delay in fruit ripening that means it is antagonistic to ethylene which promote the fruit ripening then the next is it also promotes femaleness in dioecious plants next exam the next function of this is auxin is it also stimulate growth of flowering plant parts flower plants now we'll discuss example of auxin first we will see what are the natural auxin which itself plant is produced within its cells these are ia that is indole 3 acetic acid iba indole 3 butyric acid and if we talk about the synthetic auxin the example of synthetic auxins are naa that is naphthalene acetic acid 2 4d and 245t these two 24d and 25t is a strong herbicides they are produced artificially or also vericides now next major hormone is cytokine as we have already discussed the first class that is auxin the next is cytokine cytokines mainly they are derivatives of purine and in the purine of adenine as we all know adenine is a purine base so the cytokine are majorly the derivatives of adenine these are the plant hormones which promote cell division with the combination of auxin plus they are also help in plant root and shoot development the important role in cell growth and differentiation into different parts of the plant they also affect they also affect the apical dominance auxiliary bud growth and leaf senescence next cytokines are transported in mainly in xylem this is important if we discuss the structure of cytokinin these are also heterocyclic as i want to told you they are the derivatives of purine it is a double ring structure cytokine name zeatin this is the name natural cytokine which is isolated from corn zea means now we will further talk about the natural cytokines which are naturally used by the plants to the cells examples are chitin zeatin and 6 bap that is benzyl amino purine now if we talk about the synthetic cytokine these are diphenyl urea 
and high diazurone. Now we will discuss the functions of cytokine. The first function of cytokine is stimulate cell division in combination with auxin and also promote growth. The second is they stimulate morphogenesis that is morphological formation of the plant part in tissue culture when we artificially grow a plantlet. Third is they also stimulate growth of lateral birds. Next is stimulate or promote leaf expansion. And the next is the fifth one is they enhance enhance stomatal opening for the exchange of or the loss of water in the form of water vapor. The next is they also promote parthenocarpy. What is parthenocarpy? Parthenocarpy is the formation of fruit without fertilization. That is, the fruit is directly formed from the female gametophyte. Next, the most important effect of cytokinin is it also delay, delay of senescence. As I have already told you, the senescence is the aging process, and this, due to the delay of sense, uh, senescence, the two symptoms can be seen. These are disappearance of chlorophyll, that is the photosynthetic pigment, and degradation of proteins. These two, these are the two symptoms of senescence, and the, this effect. is called as Richmond Lang. The next point, it also promotes femaleness in flowering plants like oxen. This topic we have, this point we have also discussed in case of oxen. The last is it also break Dormancy that is sleeping in many seeds. The last function for the cytokinin and today is it also induce or stimulate enzymes, especially concerned with photosynthesis that's all for the function of cytokines today we have discussed the in detail about what are the phytohormones what the major class of the phytohormones auxin and cytokinins and their function in the next class we will deal with rest remaining three hormones that are gibberellin Ethylene and abscisic acid.